it's time to try to get the bins from the garage into the bedroom. Okay, I think I'm gonna need to phone a friend because I think it's the bottom one. I'm phoning a friend. <laughs> Can you help me with my bins? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not even sure which one it is. That's um, camping and Christmas. Correct. Yeah, that's camping and Christmas stuff. And then this looks like, I don't know what that is. It's got to be those two bins. <laughs> we just move stacks around. All right. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Obviously, from the footage of my garage, we still have work to do on our garage declutter. We closed out a storage unit and we brought a lot of that stuff into our garage and we never finished the garage reorganization that I had planned in my mind, really just cause it's been so hot that there's just no way we're gonna work out there. But now the weather is just barely starting, barely starting to cool down. So I suspect probably in the next month, that's gonna be a project that we can tackle and share with all of you as well. This is going to be a closet switchover from summer to fall, winter. And I live in South Florida, which makes it extremely challenging because pretty much for the better part of nine months, it's pretty darn hot down here. And we do get a few months of a little bit of cool air, maybe a few days that drop into the 40s, not too many. But it doesn't matter because we love to dress up in our winter best. And in fact, I probably have more clothes for the fall and winter season than for summer, which doesn't really make sense. And I'm probably living in the wrong environment for what I love, but it is what it is. So the goal of today is to incorporate the style values that I came up with in a previous video about how to find your personal style. And I came up with at that time, three words to describe how I wanted my wardrobe to reflect me. And the three words were that it needed to be comfortable. It needed to be chic, like Parisian woman type of chic and it needed to be fun. I, I really feel like over the summer, when I revamped my summer capsule wardrobe, the, the clothes that I bought, and I didn't buy that many, but they really did define that aesthetic that I was seeking for the outside of me to reflect what I felt inside. And I wore the heck out of a lot of those clothes and I kind of just rotated them and it became a very minimal summer wardrobe capsule. Basically, a lot of those pieces that I showed in that video ended up being worn on a weekly basis. And I sort of want a, a focus like that for the fall getting into fall and winter. So we're gonna kind of talk it through. I also have like all of my boots that I stored under the bed back when I was switching over to, to spring, summer. So I need to pull all that stuff out, but also shoes. Like I need to make some decisions because although I'm not a minimalist, I see the benefits of having a minimalist wardrobe. By having just a few key items that you love to wear and that are comfortable and that were fun and that were that, kind of chic look that I was after. It really defined the style and the pieces that I was drawn to over and over and over again. So I kind of want to do that. It's going to be interesting, you know, anytime that you pull out your, your old clothes to see if you still like them or if you don't like them. So all of that is going to happen today. So I'm just going to get started pulling out all of my winter things and making some decisions if there are items that I feel like I can let go of. We're just gonna do this together. There's always a point where I feel overwhelmed and I am at that point. 
point at this moment because I've pulled out all the boots on the floor, all of the sweaters and things that were for fall. And I know I have to go through now. <laughs> That's so hard. That's so hard. I have to go through my summer things and take them out before I can put any of this in there. But I really wanted to just see what I have. I've already put some things in the donate pile that I know aren't me anymore. And I, I need to really just be ruthless about what I'm choosing to get rid of. I need to be more ruthless, but it's so hard, especially when your weight fluctuates the way that mine does. But one of the things that I had put these shoes away, I didn't miss them. I didn't miss them. Uh, and these are going to get donated, but they don't, they hurt my feet. These I didn't miss. I forgot that I even had them. And yeah, I'm just going to, to get rid of them because I'm not gonna wear them. They're not comfortable. That was number one on my list of it has to be comfortable. These are not comfortable, never have been. I suffered through them at times to wear them, but I'm just not doing that anymore. I am not suffering for style anymore. So these are going. So as I'm looking through my closet, I want my closet to make sense. I feel like right now it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know how else to describe it. It just doesn't feel like it's making sense. I brought a bunch of my fall stuff out here. I still have more in, in the closet. So I have a few new clothes. There's things still with price tags on them and I'm kind of on the fence about and uh, kind of need to see how the outfits can come together and like I said make sense and have that effortless easiness be comfortable and, and feel playful and fun and sexy and all those adjectives that I use to describe the style I was trying to create um, that I'm working on and that I think is going to always it's going to be an ever consistent process but I did want to talk about some things that um, I'm probably getting rid of this time around. But these shorts and these and these have made it through multiple declutters and I don't even know that I can really, uh, other than maybe these I can donate, but uh, the other ones I don't even think I can donate. So they'll probably just go in the trash. This has made it through multiple declutters and it's it's like it's a wrap top and it's got like a ballet feel to it i always felt like this tie was too chunky you know and i understand they're using self fabric the same fabric as they were using but it just always didn't it never felt like it tied and looked nice it just felt so bulky on the side so anyways it's made it through a lot of declutters and it's gonna go this time these shorts, I don't think I wore at all this summer. I just don't like the cut of them. And I can do better if I wanna get white shorts. I just never was happy with this particular pair. This shirt, I just don't like the fabric. The fabric, I feel very hot in this fabric. And it's supposed to be an athletic fabric. I mean, it's polyester spandex, but they're not all created equal. And I've kept it thinking that I would wear it for the winter months to exercise in, but I'm just not comfortable in it. So I think I, I, I'm not gonna miss it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This shirt has made it through the last couple of declutters as well. I just, I'm sick of this neckline. I'm sick of these kind of ties just don't like it. I love navy and it's such a shame because I don't have a, a lot of navy tops and so maybe that's something for me to kind of focus on but I like something more minimal. I didn't wear this at all all summer and this is a summer shirt. I don't think I wore it last year maybe once or twice last year and that's just not enough for me to keep it. Every time I went to reach for it like if I had laid out outfits I ended up not wearing it. I just like this isn't me so gotta go okay i feel like i'm making some headway so now i just have the top rack to take things down now there's some decisions to be made i don't know why i got into these headbands so much but 
I don't wear them. I I never wear them. And I I need to just get rid of them. And I don't even need the stand that, that I bought to put them on. So <laughs> they're taking up valuable space in my closet and I'm just gonna get rid of them. Now, as far as shoes, God, I have so many shoes. I know I need to get rid of some, so let's start. The sneakers have seen better days and I bought new ones to replace them, so I can get rid of those. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting rid of these as well. I don't need these sandals. These, I never wear. They made it through the last shoe declutter, but they're not gonna make it through this one. They gotta go. I never wear these either. I never wear them. I, I've tried, I thought I might wear them, and I'm gonna take them out of my closet. They're gonna be one of those kind of pairs that I wrap up and store away and see if I miss them. Same with these, although I don't wanna get rid of them. They're very beautiful. Uh, I love that floral print, very pretty. So I'm, I'm gonna keep these, but they're gonna get stored away for the spring and summer. I've never worn these. I've never worn these. I got these over the summer on clearance at Nordstrom Rack and I never wore them. And they're definitely not for fall, so they're gonna get stored away also. Yeah, I'm just gonna store away some of my these sandals that I know I'm not going to be wearing. The thing is, living in South Florida, I know that I might end up wearing some of these. Yeah, because we still wear sandals down here all times of the year. So there's a theme developing, I can see in the clothes that I have on my rack. There's camel color, always great for fall. There's white, black, navy, some red, tan, a little bit of gray. And also that is evident in the things that I still have not hung up or folded that are not on that rack. But one color that I feel is really missing from my wardrobe that I am looking for, I'm actively looking for, is this color here. This kind of burgundy, they call it cherry cola red. Really, I am a fall. Whenever I've had my color analysis done in the past, I always come out as a fall. And so this color looks so good on me. Every time I wear this top, which I will not part with this top, because I get compliments every time I wear this color. And in fact, the girls at work just the other day said, you need more of that color because that color looks so good on you. And I was like, you know what? You're right, I do need more of that color. So I'm actively looking for that color that that will be the other pop of color, that that's really the color that I'm looking to add into my fall wardrobe and we'll see if I can find it. I have my eye on a couple of things and. If I get them, I'll share them with you. Where we're at with this, I got a hair, always, always a hair, between my hair and Zoe's hair. So now I really need to figure out what I'm doing and kind of start putting things back in and coming up with outfit ideas. my prom dress. I couldn't bear to part with it. So, hey, there are things that are just nostalgic and bring you memories and you have no reason to hold on to them other than they bring you joy. And that's one of those things, but I am okay with that. my end of things. One, two, three, four, five, six bras that were in one of those bins under the bed that are still in good shape, but I don't know if they're ever going to fit me again. 
had a lot of corresponding underwear, but you can't donate used underwear, <laughs> I'm guessing. So unfortunately, those just went in the trash. They're very small. I don't know if I'll ever be that small again. I did it, and I'm really proud of myself because all of that stuff has survived multiple declutters over the past 10 years. So it's just letting go of the past, letting go of a past me that I may never get to that size again. And I'm a different person and I have different needs. And were those things comfortable to begin with? Not really, not really. I was going for sex appeal. <laughs> now I'm kind of going for comfort, which brings me to this drawer here that I have a whole bunch of, uh, of bras and underwear that I need to get rid of out of that drawer as well. I know it may not look like it, but I've actually made quite a bit of progress. I know I still have a whole mess over here and a whole bunch of things over there to, to hang up and possibly get rid of a few additional things. I'm still on the fence though. But the goal here is, although I, I say this in almost every video, I'm not a minimalist but I aspire to be more minimal than I have been in my history. And I feel like I move closer to achieving that. Now, when you look at all of my shoes, you're gonna say, Robin, there's no way you're a minimalist. And I agree with you. I'm not. And I'm probably always going to have a lot of shoes. I'm a women's size four shoe. So when I find shoes that I love, um, I, have a bad addiction to what happened to my necklace so when I find a size 4 shoe or a children's size 2 shoe that fits me I, I tend to buy it but the goal here is this bin here this bin was pulled out of the garage and it had some of my winter clothes in it and the goal is to not fill it up again basically for it to remain empty and by getting rid of some of these things and probably getting rid of more and going through my summer clothes and deciding what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna get rid of, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling kind of brave actually about getting rid of more things because I don't wanna fill this bin up. I have three bins under my bed, which one of them is swimsuits and I want to transfer my swimsuits and my swim cover-ups into one of my drawers in my closet. I want to move those things that are, you know, swim, swim related and get rid of things. And maybe, I mean, there's bathing suits. I know I just need, I probably just need to get rid of. I just need to get rid of them. And you know, it's hard because I hate shopping for swimsuits and ugh. at any rate I, I think you understand i'm trying to get rid of one of the bins under my bed i have two additional bins of um one bin that has things that don't currently fit me and i've gotten it down to just a one under the bed bin which is a huge progress for me because i used to have bins and bins of things that didn't fit and another bin I'm putting my summer clothes into. So I'm trying to just narrow it down to just having two bins under the bed, as well as these canvas bags that I am putting like off season shoes in. So that's the goal. <laughs> I think I can do it. I think I can get rid of more things and be okay with that. And I know it's like, ultimately I don't want any bins under the bed, but if I'm going to be trading out winter, summer wardrobe things, I want to be able to just have like one bin, one bin and that's it. And I don't want to have bins of things that don't fit me anymore, but I'm not ready to part with those things at this point. It may happen, but it's not happening today. Well, it's Sunday afternoon and I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed and I'm so close to being done. I really am. It's like I've, I'm at like, when you have too many choices still to make and too many decisions, decision fatigue, that's it. <laughs> Eventually I come up with the words. I feel decision fatigue, but I do wanna show you the progress that has been made. This drawer down here that kept all of my sheets in 
we just went through and made a brutal declutter of any sheets that had holes or tears in them we're getting rid of and right now i have the sheets that are on the bed i have this set of sheets and on amazon prime day i ordered another pair of these exact sheets which are such great sheets i'll link them below we really love them i have two bags and also that did not go out in the last declutter it was supposed to that kate spade bag but i'm taking it to goodwill actually i'm just gonna pack this stuff up today and take it to goodwill the sheets some of them were fitted some of them were flat sheets that were in good shape this fitted sheet has barely been used at all it's uh, a queen size and i got it not long before we bought this bed which is a king size I think I can go ahead and donate those. So my swimsuits, which were in a bin under the bed, now I have room in this drawer for my swimsuits and cover-ups. I got rid of like five pairs of swimsuits in my last declutter. So I'm really down to like three pair, three swimsuits. So I feel good about that. Yeah, and the other thing is that I have these linen pieces that I wore heavily in the summer, these linen pants. I have other linen pants. I put them in the wash just so I can wash them and put them away. I'm gonna store them along with, oops, along with this white skirt that I wore a lot over the summer. And so those are gonna go with my summer things. So that's where I stand right now. I'm going to put the rest of this stuff away and take those bags to Goodwill and throw out this other bag of sheets that we're throwing away and put these all the rest of these clothes back into the closet and put them in an order that really makes sense. I am going to be putting together outfits and, and fall outfit inspo, but it's not gonna be in this video. It's gonna be in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna start putting together outfits so that I have some outfits lined up for the next couple of weeks. Although my office is moving, we're moving next week, and so all week we're gonna be boxing stuff up and moving. So I'm not gonna be wearing too nice of things in the office. But either way, I can have a few weeks worth of outfits put together, so I'm gonna do that right now. Getting there, getting there. I have a lot of empty hangers, which tells me I've done a pretty good job of getting rid of things that I've just been holding on to for too long. And then I put this sweater on. I thought it was gonna make the cut. And then I asked myself the question, is this chic? No. Is it comfortable? Hmm, kind of. Is it fun? Definitely not. It's not going to make the cut. It's going to Goodwill. So we're kind of at the end of this process. It's been very challenging. Maybe my most challenging swap over ever because um, I find myself asking a lot more questions as I'm choosing to keep items. From here to here are outfits I've put together. There's 15 outfits here. From here to here are things that I haven't done anything with. This blouse, I've worn it like one time. I bought it at Nordstrom Rack earlier this summer and it's not something that's me at all, but I tried it on just in case it, and it actually was very flattering. 
on, but it doesn't meet really any of my criteria of what I like. Even though like animal print always comes in and out of fashion, the colors are actually good colors for me because this is like a burgundy brown, which is really a flattering, <laughs> flattering color on me. The cut of it is flattering as well, but I just couldn't bring myself to put it with any of my outfits. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see if I end up wearing it at all. And it's, but these are mostly like my t-shirts and casual things. So I'm not so worried about having put together outfits with these. So I feel good that I've put together 15 outfits and I actually probably have like three or four dresses in my closet that also will serve as outfits. As far as new pieces for my wardrobe, this is one of my new pieces that I just got from Loft. And I, it's a, you know, one of those oversized blazer looks and I haven't had anything like this in my closet in a really long time and um, I just really liked it so I'm excited to wear this. This is also a new piece that I just got from Gap. It's a petite medium and it fits really nice. It's a very, they're very soft, chunky kind of sweater so I'm looking forward to wearing this. This sweater is also a new piece that um, I feel really excited about wearing. I got this from Gap. It's that style, it's trending right now with the gold buttons and just that ladylike kind of Chanel-esque type of cut. So looking forward to wearing this as well. So those are the new pieces. I've been very careful about what I buy and that I am excited to get a lot of wear out of them for fall. And so that will be another video, me putting together some outfits. And um, so join me for that video, which will be up eventually. <laughs> well, anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And if you've liked this video, give it a like, give it a comment. That's a really good way to support my channel. And it's also a good way to let companies know that women over 50 matter that we <laughs> exist, that we have needs, because I am 52 years old. We have so many channels that are 20 somethings and even, you know, some 30 somethings. And on TikTok, it's all under 20, right? <laughs> well, mostly. We matter and our needs matter. Our bodies, you know, as we go through menopause, we change. And so we need to let retailers know, we need to let uh, companies know that this demographic matters and it's gotten harder and harder for me to find clothes that not only fit and look nice but that i actually like so anyways i really appreciate all of your support and until next time you know what you're doing great